Farhad, and we are on the beginning of the second part of our blockchain technology and crypto trading course. In this part, we are going to speak about the risk surrounding the whole sphere of capital market, especially cryptocurrency market, as cryptos are more volatile than any other share and derivative in the world. You're probably excited to jump on the crypto wagon because you have heard stories about the people who have bought each Bitcoin at a $30 price and now they can set it at a price of 12,000 USDs. So, based on these exciting fairy tale like stories, you expect a gigantic return on your investment but stop please stop right here no profit is guaranteed in any market you can consider profit without also looking at loss you can consider reward without looking at punishment and you can't consider return of your investment without looking at risks. Since 2004, I've held many investment education courses and in all of them I've spent a lot of time speaking about the risk and how everyone should approach the risk individually. First lesson which you should keep in mind for entering the capital market is this sentence. This important sentence do not enter capital market if you cannot accept loss or failure we homo sapiens ignoring some details have two kinds of personalities the first kind of personality is no risk no reward or cautious or risk averse personality and the second kind of personality is risk reward or risk taking personality so the first kind no risk no reward the second kind risk reward keep in mind that cautious personality is different from coward personality and also risk taking personality is different from brave one we are just categorizing mental characteristics of homo sapiens just on the base of the amount of the risk-taking behavior. Someone who is risk-taking has risk-reward characteristic and someone who is not risk-taking has no risk, no reward or cautious or risk-averse personality. If someone is cautious, it doesn't mean that he or she is coward. Also, if someone is risk-taking, in the same manner, it doesn't mean that he or she is brave. You may be a brave man or woman, but not risk-taking. Considering this introductory, let's pose an important question. Who can win? Who can be successful in a capital market? A no risk, no reward personality or a risk reward personality? You may say that it's a no-brainer. The only personality that can attend capital market and succeed in it is risk-taking personality because investing in capital market needs to take risk. Despite popular belief, surprisingly your answer is wrong. Both cautious personalities and risk-taking personalities can participate in capital markets. Risk reward personality can bear more risk of loss and no risk no reward personality can bear less risk of loss. That's it. So we should pay attention to this fact that the only difference between these two groups of characteristic risk reward characteristic and no risk no reward characteristic is the amount of risk and loss they can bear nothing more now let's get back to our first lesson what was it 
It was this sentence. Do not enter the capital market if you cannot accept loss or failure. Do not enter the capital market if you cannot encounter loss or failure mentally. You can participate in capital market if you have cautious characteristics. You can participate in capital market if you have a risk-averse personality. Uh, because having a risk-averse or cautious personality doesn't mean that you never take risks. It simply means that uh, you tend to be more skeptical of doing so. It does mean that you stick with proven, uh, time-tested solutions, more cautious solutions. But, pay attention please, this but is important. But you cannot enter the capital market and consequently cryptocurrency market. If you cannot accept loss or failure, you cannot trade in capital market if you cannot encounter loss or failure mentally. What does it mean? Uh, let me explain it to you through an example. Suppose that an investor buys stock of a company at a price of A. After a few days, the stock falls 10% of the purchase price. However, our investor cannot accept this 10% loss. If he was expected to have a rational decision, he should have encountered the 10% loss and sell the stock. However, our investor wrongly thinks that as long as he hasn't sold the stock, there has been no loss in his investment. I have seen many such investors who have this false illusion and elect to continue to hold a losing position while the stocks slide lower and lower and their loss gets bigger and bigger. Because these investors these people mentally cannot accept the loss. They fear losing money and this fear of losing and being wrong in analyzing capital market makes them more and more loss. And they continue to fool themselves by not selling their stock. When someone has this kind of fear, or as sometimes we say, have overconfident characteristic, he or she should avoid capital market seriously. It's a scientifically proven fact that people do irrational things to avoid making losses. One of the biggest fears people have is that of losing money. As a matter of fact, studies have revealed that the pain of losing is twice as strong an emotion than the joy of winning. Therefore, the emotion felt while losing, for example, $100 is doubly strong, is doubly strong than that felt by gaining $100. Human nature is not designed to accept losses. This is true for everyone. Really, this is true for everyone that human nature is not designed to accept losses. A no risk, no reward personality doesn't like loss, but also a risk reward personality doesn't like too. Meanwhile, both can participate in capital market, but an overconfident personality or someone who cannot accept loss and failure at all cannot and must not attend capital market. If you are such a person, do not bother yourself even to test the cryptocurrency trading. Okay, as I mentioned in our first video, each session will have two parts. In part one, we will have some theory, and in part two, we will have an analysis of the digital currency market, especially Bitcoin, and try to put the theory we've learned before into the action and use it in real world. Today, part one, we try to speak about the risks surrounding the sphere of cryptocurrency market and recognizing them in order to avoid them in our investment 
And in the next part, we will continue our lecture about recognizing the risks in cryptocurrency market. Now, let's go to the second part and have a look at Bitcoin chart and the circumstance there. Today is Thursday, 4th of September 2020, and we are on Bitcoin chart as provided by L-Wave, L-Wave software. As I told you before, alongside using this software and learning how to use L-Wave, we will examine fundamental circumstances to combine with technical ones and, and uh, derive a buy, sell, hold, or cash position signal as a resultant of our fundamental and technical analysis and put the signal into the work. To have a robust and vigorous buy or sell signal, first of all, we should consider fundamental situation of our cryptocurrency, in this case, Bitcoin. And as we'll explain thoroughly our next parts, almost, almost all fundamental components of Bitcoin suggest a long term of trend in its chart. After gaining a fundamental perspective and finding the most probable, please pay attention, most probable expected trend of our cryptocurrency, we come to technical analysis to find the best points for entry or exit our position. Technically, we need three consecutive trends up or three consecutive trends down to decide to enter the market. Today, as we can see, we have two consecutive trends up. You can see here in summary inspector. And one trend down. One easy positive and one easy negative. Don't be worried about the new expressions and concepts as we will explain and go over times and times later on coming parts. So again, as our previous video we don't enter the market and again we should wait and ambush to find the best opportunity to attack the market. Until the next session, goodbye.